When you think about the nation that is gonna be extremely rich and perfect in 1.34 run, there is only one choice, a Lübeck into Hansa campaign. Lübeck maybe wasn't changing lines in the north, but owners of the Emperor Regency received a completely brand new mission tree that leads you to be pretty much an economic hegemon and form the Hansa. So obviously that will be goal for today, to go and follow this mission tree to show you how beautiful the gameplay can be in this region of the game. It's a freaking trade empire. Before we start, thank you so much for 1200 comments and congratulations to the giveaway winner Adrian Umański, please contact me via Discord that is linked in the pinned comment. Let's go! So Lübeck ideas are pretty much with Hansa the ideas that are very much focused on trade and that's gonna be a focus of this campaign, obviously. Also, Lübeck is one of the few nations in game that has a random rule at the start. 3, 5, 6, 36 years old. You might say it's pre-recorded, I don't know, save it, it, cheated, but I'm extremely lucky with my start here. In most of the cases, you won't be probably that lucky. I'll start with picking rivals. That's gonna be Mecklenburg, because that's my main way of expansion early game as well as like Selenberg and Lannenberg itself. I want to conquer these three nations in early game because I'm gonna get claims on them from this mission and to get this mission we need to get a free company. And of course I'm gonna go and take a free company which obviously in Polish I will always like to tell you how things are translated to Polish. Free company is translated to Darmowa Kompania in Polish. And for the estates I'm gonna go for the Adrimana, I will go for the Diplomana, I will not take the mil mana because we don't have that much of command. Seize land, take religious diplomats, so improve relations with everyone that is Catholic, supremacy of the crown, as well as prestige and 1% loans. Now as for the ships, trade ships will go and protect trade in Lübeck and I need to build two galleys to get another mission that is gonna give me a good Admiral 50 tradition. That is gonna be extremely useful for the wars in the Baltic Sea. And for now I'll not take the cheap advisors here nor here because first we need to boost our stability to 1. Someone diet that's gonna be taking at least 2 allies, that's diplomatic reputation that will allow us to invite more people to our trade league. And about that, is anyone willing to join the trade league? Not yet. First let me go and get some alliances, I'm gonna go and ally Brandenburg and I'll also ally... Ah, let's take Magdeburg which is actually close to us. This will take me the mission of diplomatic reputation, which should help me to invite more members of the trade league. Let me take Strasbourg and Ansbach will be extremely close to be invited. So let me improve relations with Ansbach as well as Gotland, because Gotland is actually part of our mission tree. With the free company recruited, I can take this mission, which is claims all around the place here. Let's see, Mecklenburg allied Hamburg. Unenburg did not ally anyone yet, and Saxlandburg allied Verden. So this is actually a pretty good setup for us. Well, I guess we're not that lucky after all. Mecklenburg just allied two tonic orders, so I will probably not fight them. Oh for no! Now. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna attack Saxlandburg, which is allied to Verden. It should be a very straightforward war and easy for us. But first, of course, we need to stack wipe them. Uh, it's very straightforward. Hello there, goodbye there. Oh, they are still alive. But well, this is not a problem. Shift consolidate, might then. With 112 admin mana, I can boost my stability to 1. Then I'm gonna take the cheaper advisors from each of these states, which will allow me to take, I think, uh, yeah, I can afford at least two of the advisors. So let's take the prestige guy here and the diplomatic reputation guy here. This will help me invite more people to the trade league. We can change the factions alliance. Let's see, this is more of armies and sailors modifier don't need it. Grow a trade power but decrease tax meta or construction goods and goods per modifier. Let me actually go for this, it's gonna be the most useful for us. Whoa, 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 No, I just got traded by pirates of Gotland. I completely forgot that they can be pirates. I think once I invite them to the trade league, this is gonna resolve the future issues of being pirated. Goodbye, let me take them all. And now we're gonna go and invite Gotland to the trade league. And we're gonna go and invite Hans Bach to the trade league. Let me also temporarily ally Gotland because we have a mission to get our relations with them to 150, so just need 10 more of relations. In the meantime, I'll be improving my relations with Austria for another mission. Yes, there's a lot of missions around here, which is requiring me to improve my relations with Austria up to 100. And maybe if I'll be lucky enough, I might get alliance with them, especially that we have so much of diplomatic reputation. If relations improve with Gotland, I'm gonna go for this, which is the Hansa Dictam of Visby, 
which is making some bonuses for them as well as 100 ducats for us. Next step is to go after Lunenburg, which is allied to Braunschweig, so that should not be a problem. Let me just see, how many armies do they have? They have 3,000, so I need a month tick to take back our morale. And then I'm gonna go for the conquest of Celle. And we're gonna go and straight away stack wipe the armies, I think. Yeah, that should be very easy. Now, we need to stand on these two provinces, just to avoid them from building any new armies. And once I occupy Tele, yeah, I'm gonna go and try stack wiping Brunswick army as well. Let's see, that might not be that easy, because we have 8,000 troops, they also have 8,000 troops. You know what? Let's wait another month to recover our morale. I should win that strictly by a better leader. But it might depend, yes, highly on the rolls. We are all good here, but honestly, uh, Brunswick is like super big. We don't, I don't really want to fight them anymore. One of my other missions requires me to improve relations with all of the guys in our trading to up to 100. This is why besides improving with Austria, I'm gonna start improving with all the other members of the trade league. I baited Brunswick to attack me. Oh, trade war costs a billion Holland. Uh, I can't take promises in a trade war and they are under Burgundy, so I'm not gonna do anything about that. But yes, I told you, I baited them to attack me here. Too bad they're not trying to go to Brunswick, I'll just wipe them there. With relations improved with Austria, I'm getting subjugation castles value on Dittmarscher for 15 years, as well as perma claims on Schleswig Holstein. I'm trying to get a naval reformer over here in order to get in the mission, but I already spent 36 zakats on getting rid of these boys, and I'm just unlucky. Oh! I just had to start recording. There we go. Let me take this boy. Take this mission. This is a great admiral that is gonna help us oof, in all of the naval battles in the future. I'm gonna switch this boy back to diplomatic reputation. With Brunswick armies wiped and me staying in the capital, that should be enough. Yes, to wipe peace. Let me just quickly do that. Come on, before they build any troops. And now we can go and peace out Slenerberg very easily. Two provinces. Should be not that much of a gas expansion, just 20 as well as full money. And that's another mission here, which is safeguard the salt road. It's gonna give me for 15 years monthly administrative power. And we have good relations with Hamburg, I can get another bonus. So why don't we go and start improving relations with Hamburg before we click this mission. I can speed this up by simply allying Hamburg. So after one or two month ticks, I'm gonna lose the stability, but at least that's gonna be technological. Really unfortunate. Uh, I don't have... No, I don't. I won't be boosting that by myself. Anyway, I can go and take this mission, which is gonna be also the development cost modifier. Yes, 15% death course for the next 15 years. So let me just go and take these two boys. That's eight of innovativeness. And let's double check. Relations. This is 89. I need to improve with Bremen. This is 86. I need to improve 103, 100, 140, 117. Also, anyway, rebels are loading here. I'm gonna decrease the autonomy on three provinces. In the meantime, see it's staying on zero even if I'm not at war. So that's helping to improve our force speed up to now. I'm still above it. And here we go with this mission, and that's gonna give us. Yeah, you probably can tradition very useful. Re-election cost even more useful. Five flat level beacon tradition, and uh, that's a dynamic reward depending how we complete it. I don't know how it's dyna dynamic, but it's definitely worth it. At the same time, we have gateway to the east, which is improving relations with Riga, and that's giving us two base production Riga, 50 diplo points for us, and one mercantilist. And at the same time, Riga is gonna join the Holy Roman Empire. Thanks to favors of Brandenburg, I managed to call them into the war against Mecklenburg. You can see that first of all I occupied all the provinces, wiped the army, and then I asked Brandenburg to join. So this way they're gonna help me with Teutonic Order that is allied to Mecklenburg, but they won't take any province. Also, in the meantime, what I forgot to show you, I managed to get alliance with Austria, which is a game changer for us. Let's see if we can win against them. They have tech 3, I have tech 4, that should be pretty easy. We also have a superior leader, which is 3-4. And also more troops, that there's like no chance that they're gonna win it. Yes, pretty easy. Ah, the first choice of the guarantee for us. We can take Russian unrest, reelect within the family and this random candidate bonus, really public tradition, some bonuses to goose produce modifier, female generals, national manpower, or additional missionary. And I think between the manpower and uh, yearly public tradition, and I'm gonna stick for the yearly public tradition. Right now it's increasing 
1.5 yearly. All right, at last I can piece out two tonic order. I'm gonna break the alliance with Denmark, break the alliance with Lvivian order, and break the alliance with Moscow. So later I'll be able to go and take care of them. Just a little bit afraid that Poland is gonna kill this nation before my true sense, but it is what this is. I definitely don't want to fight these few nations. Well, maybe I, I can keep Lvivian order. Nah. You just peace out like this. The truce is not that long because it's eight years, so it should be all fine. The peace deal is extremely easy. It's full annexation, no aggressive expansion, and full money for us. What is the next mission? Is a general as well as new claims, including the boys around here, so the tonic order. Without slowing down, I'm gonna attack Dithmarschen because yes, I have castles where to subjugate, but I don't need advanced over here, so I'm just gonna go for strict conquest. I need to be cautious because if the United armies. They're gonna be actually stronger than us. Verden is an easy white piece, just occupying a province, blockading a port. Thank you so much. Now, I'm only left with Bremen and Dithmarschen. So, what I'll do, I'm gonna very easily go and stack wipe them. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you running? Because now, after I stack wipe them, it should be also easy to piece out Bremen for a white piece. Okay, there it goes. The stack wipe is done. Yes, send the white pizza, even take some money, and now we are only left with the Martian, which is gonna go straight to us. Why? Ah, they're not accepting because I was destroying the navy. Now they're gonna accept. Taking tech fight is gonna be extremely important for us, because I want to attack Volgas, but Volgas is like both to Poland and Bohemia. You can see Bohemia will join, but Poland will not. Still, 17,000, 3,000, 4,000. It won't be an easy war against Bohemia. And the alternative is for that is to attack just Stettin. Honestly, they are dying to Poland right now. Teutonic Order will not help them. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Stettin. That's gonna be a little bit easier. To work a little bit on our, I guess, expansion, I'm gonna take improved relations over here. Improve relations over here. And improve relations over here. This is gonna be of big use for us. And at the same time, I need to go and get an advisor for actual improvement. As I have a lot of Diplo points, I don't want to take the technology so ahead of time. Just gonna go and death click if a few times. Up to 21. I'm gonna also take the 1% loans in order to build a marketplace really back. First of all, far more money for us. And second of all, this is also gonna help me fulfill another mission. If I pissed out starting for full annexation, I would have four nations in the collision. But I'm improving collisions of both Coastal and Verder, so in a second. Both of them won't be able to join my coalition. A second earlier, Anhal disappeared, and right now, pretty much, I can go and peace out. Because without these nations, there won't be any coalition. So, thank you so much. And now, what I'll be preparing for is just a pure beauty. I'll be preparing to fight Denmark with help of Austria, because I'm just building favors on them, because it's already at 9. With marketplace finished, I'm getting trade efficiency and institution spread in our capitals. Now, as it's spreading even faster. I can unlock my first idea group, which is gonna be actually a very tough choice. I'm thinking between diplomatic for the improved relations, diplomatic reputation, province war score cost, and actually espionage for the gross expansion impact, cheaper claims, cheaper advisors, switch ability. These are actually pretty decent ideas. And do you know what? I'm gonna go... Yes, why don't we go and test espionage ideas, right? What can go wrong? Let me just unlock then. I'm gonna go and focus on the Diplo points now. I'm gonna go and try fighting against Denmark. It's gonna be Conquest of Holstein. And I'm gonna call Austria and Magdeburg. Unfortunately, they are allied to Brandenburg. Mr. Brandenburg, can I use favors to break your alliance with Denmark? Yes, I need to carry favors on Brandenburg to do so, because uh, that, I think, will be a little bit too much for us to fight, because if you take a look, using the numbers, it's actually really close. Uh, let's wait with that a little bit. We anyway have a lot of, I guess, expansion to drop first. Second choice in the government reforms is shorter elections, longer elections and re-elections reducing influence of the state. That's actually interesting. Gov capacity. Trade power abroad as well as diplomatic relations, forcing re election, or average monarch lifespan and election by lottery. I'm thinking between shorter elections and longer elections, but with reducing the influence of the estates. This is actually important because the less influence the estates have, the more crowned I'm gonna get on the peace deals. Honestly, I'm gonna go and test 
this solution. One of my mission requires me to develop Lubeck to 30 and as I'm hitting the meal points cap and I don't want to take the technology so ahead of time, let me just go and spend the meal points to dev it straight up to 30. So there it goes, double entry bookkeeping is giving me a level 3 tax meta advisor that is 70% cheaper yes of course i'm gonna take him and it's also a hundred of admin mana for us Oof, this is good and bad news this is good news because austria as they integrated the whole burning grenade once they are alive so we're gonna use them and this is also bad news because in the long term that might be problematic if you wanted to expand into the lowlands second idea in espionage is the key for us aggressive expansion impact minus 20 and i hope to also get this one soon but i need more of the perks here isn't this the longest even that you've seen it's just taking a issue with my whole screen has whole been the younger of course i'm not gonna admit that i don't have that much of a time that's a stab cost advisor that is 50 percent cheaper cool but have 70% cheaper advisor already. I'm hitting both admin and mill points cap, so I'm gonna use that. Pretty much get rid of most of our devastation, which should be very straightforward, just a couple of dev clicks. And right now we only left with point one over here, which will be done within two months. Byzantine refugees, one of my favorite events, does 10% tech cost just for a couple of power points. And what's most important, that's for 30 years. So honestly, in January, I'm gonna take both of these two technologies, even though... Oh, that's another cheaper advisor. Let me go and take him. Look, 599, 567, and we already have 27 of innovativeness, while this... Of course, I'm gonna take it. I'm still waiting for uh, favors on Brandenburg to be completed. That will be soon. In the meantime, you can go and take down Trutonic Order, and for that, I'm gonna use both Brandenburg and Austria. Hunger will be helping, but this is fine. We don't have to care about this. Third espionage ideas is not only spy network construction plus 50%, but it's also siege ability and our national idea of global trade power. Workshop on Lübeck means another mission finance the guild at ships building time, ship cost, as well as shipyard in Lübeck, and the same reward for all of the trade league members. This is just perfect, and thanks to shipyards, which is not unlocked in general at this stage, we get the event, the Hansit Cog. Ooh, what is that? That is giving us light ship cost minus 25%, land leader maneuver plus one and plus 2000 sailors for 30 years. Okay, Mr. Hager, peacing out for war operations, so only I'm gonna get the gains out of this war. Then, ooh, what is that? Please give me papal influence because I'm gonna change it into Republican tradition as well as improved relations for us. That's a key bonus. Then Mr. Teutonic Order, please fully annex. Thank you so much, I'm gonna get rid of this fort start calling the other provinces and we are all good to first of all go to Brandenburg and use the favors to break alliance with Denmark and if that's done let's go for the conquest of Holstein with calling of Austrian Magdeburg so we have far more troops in this conflict now as the fleet is in general stronger than ours I need to use brain meaning that I'm gonna catch oh they just baited me to attack them here but so far so good let's run away They've lost three ships, I've lost two ships, but I've lost galleys, which is worse. Let me go and start building three more galleys now. Fourth bonus in this Spanish edition is additional diplomat as well as advisor cost. I'm hitting the points cap again and I'm not even close to take the next technology. Let me just go and try developing one of our provinces, which will be actually hard considering how many enemies we have around, but I'm gonna go for Wismar, which is a good province. It has the death cost modifier, just one, two, one, two, not to hit the points gap. Brandenburg anyway decided that they hate us because they want Kenningsburg and I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Okay, they moved their navy, so that might be our only chance. Let's go. Come on. Oh no, they're gonna reforce it right away and yeah, I don't think I have any chance of winning with them on the navy. This is a little bit too early for us, of course, I did not lose that much, but they've lost a heavy ship. As you have so much mana, why don't I go and show you a new death meta, because death meta is not even close to death. Let me go and dev it 1, 2, 3 times up to 15. Then I can expand the infrastructure over here, it's gonna cost me a little bit of gaff capacity, which doesn't matter. Most importantly, it's gonna give me 25% local death cost, instead of 47 to develop this province. When I expand infrastructure for 50 Alvin mana, 
I can dev it for 35 points with this death cost modifier. I can boost it probably even further once I get the burgers loyal. As I'm just making a terrible mistake of standing without actual proper navy here. Let's see if we can win it before the reinforce because I think they're gonna reinforce it. Straight to Sealand, straight to Sealand, straight. No, so close. I almost crossed this. I have to run away on the 1st of October. And this way, maybe slowly, slowly, I'm gonna break their navy and win. I'm still building more galleys to do that. What is good news is that Sweden just declared independence war. So Swedish navy might help us and I won't have to fight the Swedish navy anymore. And as these technologies are still not even close to be enacted. Let me go over here and boost this province even further up to 20. I think that I found a funny bug. Because in general, I should not be able to take Sealand because it's a fort, right? But if I take it off... And take it again, right now I can actually take it, which I am like, pretty sure it's a bug. Ah, maybe it's a feature. Let me just go and piece them out exactly for my claims. As we're a sealant, that's gonna be a little bit of mana to go and core it. That's gonna be a mission that is over here. And that's local trade power. Lots of local trade power in Lübeck. I absolutely love it. How much of trade power we have here? 27. That's also another mission, which is herring migration. I love this thumbnail. That's giving us Lübeck herring market. Fish produced over here. Okay, that's better than naval surprise. And that's 1.5 goods produced. Or a naval manufacturer. You know, I'm gonna go for the local goods produced. Instead of points of production, it's gonna have... 1.4 production. I absolutely love it. And that's another mission which is impose you by cloud. That's local construction goes, local goods plus modifier. That's just absolutely lovely. We have another mission somewhere, I see. Pen and swords. That's uh, okay. What is our opinion of Austria? 88. Let me improve relations with Austria before I take the mission mission. Because the better opinion, the better bonus I'm gonna get there. Stop coring. Holstein, because this mission will make Holstein the core. And we do have another government reform, level 4. That is some courier bonuses, I don't need that. Season like from Krajin does not trigger religious rebels, okay, and administrative tech cost. Temples, Kadrigas, oh yes, the temples meta, let me go for it. I can make provinces in Eastern Europe my trade company. And honestly, that's what I'm gonna do over here in Prussia. So let me just add all of these provinces. To a trade company, which will make my income just not even better. So, why don't I go and collect in uh, Baltics? It should be a better income. It's 13.5 of trade income. And after this change, it's gonna change 15 ducats of trade income. So our total income is already at level 25. As told you, first perk is definitely like just expansion impact, so you can go and conquer even more lands. It's, uh, now a couple of things. You need a leader. I need to turn off my armies. As you can see, even more of the money. And if good relations with Austria, I can just go, take this. And as you can see, just made Holstein my full core without spending any mana on that. And I have another mission, which is Bypass Sandstall. Culture in Sealand will become Lower Saxon and Central Trade increased by one. So why don't I wait to increase it to level two? And then, once it will be level 2, it will increase to level 3, thanks to this mission. A hit in the points come back, and who is saying that the death meta is dying, guys? Let me go to Stargard, and I'm gonna have it 1, 2, 3, up to 15, so I'll be also able to expand the infrastructure over here, just not yet. I hit in the points cap again, and honestly, I kinda don't care, let me pay a lot of points for it, that was probably would be better to dev it, but told you don't care. I'm gonna go for the put ideas. And take two ideas right away because I have so much of mana and the third merchant that I can do, I'm gonna just send him to Lübeck. Let me go and take the naval doctrine and we have the special one for the Hansatic doctrine, which is ship trade power as well as navy direction from protecting trade. Well, 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 let me just go take that. I'm gonna go and take two loans, improve this to level two, then click this mission. Thanks to which, this trade center is a world port, a level 3 trade center. By the way, why don't I go and decrease the autonomy in all of the newly conquered provinces now? What is the percentage of trade power? 55% in Lübeck. And I believe that if I improve two more trade centers, I'll be able to embrace the golden era. It's one, two, three. And for here, I need to conquer one more trade center to make this work. So why don't I go and attack Brandenburg? This should be an easy war. I need this province over here. Oh, we just lost alliance with Magdeburg because of that. We need a province over here for the mission tree. Hey guys, Poland just <laughs> gave 20,000 
20,000 with one five general troops as a freaking condot here to Brandenburg. Anyway, I can go and finish espionage ideas. This is vassalization acceptance and mostly favor growth modifier, as well as rebel support efficiency and covert action relation impact. With Berlin taken, I don't really have to fight all of these uh, troops. I just want this one province, which is our claim. As well as war reparations? No, as well as just as much money as we're gonna accept 70 ducats, this is fine. It has to happen at one point. Our ruler just died 69 years old. Ha. Okay, mm, we need the Diplo points Zimos at this moment. Let me go and take this boy. 59 years old, I'm gonna probably keep looking for someone younger to keep reelecting here. And anyway, right now I need to come back with the Republican tradition a little bit. And Riga just left our trade league because they're simply too big. Let's not waste time and declare war on Volgas. They are granted by random. I like to do Poland. So I'd rather go and fight Poland in this setup. Why don't I go to Austria? Let's see again. Poland. 2959. Why don't I go to Austria and ask them to prepare for war? So this way, if I declare on Poland right now, Austria is almost joining. Okay, let's promise the lands. Let's invite Gotland and Pope. This way, the amount of the troops should be very similar on both of the sides, and we're gonna go for the conquest of Gdańsk. Uh, let's see, because that's the first battle against Poland, and it might be an immediate loss, because, yeah, Austrians are not even close. Let me just run away from this battle straight on the... Uh, come on. Yes. Run, fools. Ah, uh, it's so bad. Austria, oh, why are you standing 30,000 here not helping us? You know what? This is even good. Uh, Austrians will win with them here easily. But I'm gonna go and repay my 1% loans. Take them again. Repay the 4% loans. So this I have 300 ducats that I'm gonna go and spend on getting a grand company. So a big stack of mercs. Let me get rid of Volgas. I'm gonna break the alliances with Bohemia and Poland. So I'm gonna go and take care of them by myself a little bit later, Why in the meantime... Yeah, Poland, please go out of here. And I'm gonna quickly go and reoccupy these pro two provinces. Austria is really not helpful if they're running 50k around here. Well, I am gonna get absolutely demolished. Like, absolutely demolished by the Polish army. The army quality is just so superior that I almost got wiped in this province. Taking advantage of our gigantic fleet, I blockaded pretty much all of Sweden. So this will allow me to go and simply white piece them. Maybe even take two ducats, 20 ducats, yes, thank you so much. So left with Poland and Lithuania. Poland still has 30,000 troops, Lithuania still has 7,000 troops. So the amount of the troops that they're having keeps dropping. Okay, Poland, I'm done. How much time did they waste for this war? Five years, that's far too much, but I think that was the most demanding enemy I had so far. I'm gonna take all of my claims as well as as much money, 70 ducats, as they're gonna accept. It is looking really good. That was only 30 of aggressive expansion, which means... There's no potential coalition. Maybe before I do that, let me decrease war exhaustion at least once. And we need to start thinking about our gaff capacity. There's a hundred here, but I think I'd rather go and take five from the nobility as well. Okay, boys, I think I'm all ready to attack Denmark again. Look, making claims is just so cheap. I just did two really easy claims. To declare war on them, that's gonna be conquest of Kolding. And it's time to fix the borders over here just a little bit because they are not really perfect. Now, five trade centers at least level two. I can go and embrace the golden era, which will be very helpful for us. And also, I just got a new merchant, which is from the trade company in the Baltic Sea. Now, the question is, where should I send the next one? Let's maybe do Rhineland. Not even for the trade powers. 1.4 is not gonna change much, but mostly for the improved relation bonus on this country. It's 20%. That's actually a big change. So, we already have 50 of Fink and 1486 as freaking Lübeck. This is perfect that I can piece them out as well. There's gonna be a potential minor coalition, but honestly, nobody cares. I want to clear the borders. Maybe we can just skip Bornholm for now. Yeah, let's just skip Bornholm. We don't really need that yet. So now I have mission to get 25 development in Danzig. Why don't I go? Uh, yeah, of course, it's not a state. Maybe expand infrastructure? Expand infrastructure. So it's 34. Then 1, 2. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1. 25 development. The Danzig Confederation, what is this even even doing? Lubat is getting plus 15% global trade power and mercantilism. 
or we get five Republican tradition and one American police and the rule is righteous. Well, he's pretty old, so it's not gonna matter. Let's go for the global trade power for the next 20 years. And the next mission is Royal Prussia. I love these icons. It's one base production West Prussia area. And this Prussia area, an accepted Prussian culture. So how much development is gonna be? 319, once I click that, 327 development, I just love this. Tier 5 guarantee form is gonna most probably have capacity because I'm slowly needing that. The other option is global prosperity growth, which is also really great, but it's gonna be far more useful. And I think that right now, with the money that I'm gonna save, I'm gonna build at least one, two forts in these two provinces to protect from anyone attacking me from Germany. What is that? Adel von Ulbeck. This is allowing me to do heavy ship cost, yearly naval tradition, flagship cannons, and diplomatic technology costs. Yes, for sure, that's for the next 30 years. Okay, it's high time to peace out Volga's full annexation. That is a little bit of, I guess, expansion, but it's not something of a problem, and look, at this name placement. Now I can go, of course, and decrease more exhaustion, core everything, and take yet another mission. We did actually a big chunk of them already. Along the sea, this would be a permanent modifier if you have 50% trade power in Lubeck. Well, we have 70%. So that's giving me light ship cost and embargo efficiency as well as the mercantilism. So why don't I go and decrease also some of our autonomies to make sure it's all the best as it can? Yep, 61 income, 26,000 manpower, 31 force unit, 46 six of the ships. And guys, this is just the beginning, because ideally wants to form Hansa, so it's still a big chunk of the mission tree to be completed over here. And if you guys would like me to record one more video of this Lubeck trade power, let me know by liking this video, because if you hit 3000 likes, second part is coming. And for today, thank you so much for watching, remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified about these future videos, and I'm gonna see you very soon.